This program has been made possible in part by Ameritech, with additional support from the Stratton Cheeseman Companies, providing insurance and related services to businesses and professionals. Hello, I'm Martin Bookspan. Welcome to another performance by the renowned Verdier Trio, Walter Verdier, violin, Elsa Ludovic Verdier, clarinet, and Gary Kirkpatrick, piano. To enlarge the repertory for violin, clarinet, and piano, the Verdier Trio some years ago embarked upon a commissioning series to a number of the leading composers of our time. And in this series of programs, we're presenting several of these commissioned works. Today it will be the 1986 score titled Pierrot by the Scottish-born composer Thea Musgrave. Miss Musgrave has been a resident of the United States since 1972, and though her principal fame is as a composer of operas, she has also written much music for a variety of performing forces. Her Pierrot, composed in the summer and fall of 1985, was given its first performance by the Verdier Trio in Istanbul, Turkey, in April 1986. The Verdier Trio is joined in Thea Musgrave's Pierrot by Jennifer Muller's The Works Dance Company, performing a dance commissioned especially for this performance. inspiration. Who knows what inspiration is? I don't know where it comes from. It's, um, I'm, I'm always reminded by what uh, Tchaikovsky said, apparently, that uh, he always liked to work at a certain time uh, of the day, every day, and that, uh, that the muses had learnt to be on time. And I think there's something in that, that you set up a kind of routine and, and, and that you are ready. I waited a long time before starting this piece, four or five years as I remember, because I didn't have the right idea. But one day I sat down and I thought, I've kept Walter waiting too long, and by sheer chance I pulled off the shelf, because I thought I'll just play a little bit of music and just uh, stop worrying about this. And I pulled off the Debussy Preludes, and I started playing, and I came to the Serenade Interrompue, and suddenly, bingo, I thought, this is my piece. The idea that Debussy gave to me was that to have three characters and that the three characters would be uh, Piero, Columbine and Harlequin, the three characters of the Commedia dell'arte, and that further than that, that the three characters would be represented by the three instruments. So that the violin would be uh, Piero. the clarinet would be Columbine. And the piano would eventually be Harlequin. This is a difficult instrumental combination to work with. Having these characters help me kind of differentiate uh, dramatically and musically and instrumentally uh, to keep the colors clear. And push! All right, now, is, there, is it the shoes or is it hard to get further around? Thea has very distinct notes on what she wants to happen in each section. All the different plot lines came from her scenario. The fight between Perot and Harlequin, the seduction of Harlequin to Columbine. These are all in her instructions. Because character-wise, he's the one that's under her, like this. You would not be caught dead character-wise. You see what I'm saying? Character-wise, you've got to immediately get up here, okay. right into her. And you don't want to be so wide that you're shorter. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. You've got to get yourself, even though you're here, and this part is your, your mysterious part, you've got to get all the way up like this, so that it's harder for her to want to move away. Uh -huh. Right? You see what I mean? Like, mmm. The story is the familiar one from the Commedia dell'arte tradition. Piero woos Columbine 
only to be spurned by the lady, who turns her attentions to the more flamboyant Harlequin. Thea Musgrave's score is in eight brief sections, which follow the story quite closely. <laughs> 